up guys welcome back so I've been getting a lot of DMs and comments on my last video that I did of my Cartier the crew and Justin Klo bracelet asking me about the bracelet I actually had on my other hand so I figured I'd do a video showing what it is and talk about it a little bit more and that bracelet's going to be my yellow gold curb link bracelet also known as a Miami Cuban link and it's pretty much a classic bracelet that has been around since God knows when um, they come in all different shapes and sizes widths, um, weight um, it's all pretty much based on person um, and how heavy you would want it how you wear it um, some people get them small some people get them larger um, but I like to keep mine at a certain millimeter size so I'll get into the weight and I'll show you guys why I like this one the 15 millimeter size that I went with so let's get into it so when buying a Cuban link curb link bracelet um, the best way to tell if the manufacturer or, or jewelry store that you're getting it from is selling you a good one is you do the hang test which shows if the bracelet's straight and if it was made well so you would just like hold the bracelet up make sure that it flows like evenly straight kind of keeps like a very sharp precise straight cut to the bracelet like so um so i went with a 15 millimeter cuban link just because i've always had different sizes of these bracelets like growing up i've had um, i believe i had a six millimeter in white gold and i also had a 12 millimeter but it wasn't as thick in width as this one is so i also didn't really like white gold or sterling silver and I kind of got out of the white metals and I really wanted something you know that I could wear every day and kind of not beat but that can you know go with my daily routine and not really like get banged up as much so I sold the white gold ones that I had and I ended up going with this 15 millimeter one that is in my opinion perfect in size and it's got substantial heft to it and I'll put it on the scale in a little bit to show you what it weighs um, but for me it kind of you know it fits everything that I needed for a daily bracelet and it just looks really cool when you put it on and I kind of stack it sometimes with these guys but uh, since it's so heavy and it kind of swings into it I don't really wear it on the same hand as these guys but as you can see it looks cool you put it on with them or kind of how I wore my other videos just kind of alone and this actually had two or three more links on it before but I took them out just because it it was kind of too long for my wrist I kind of wanted it to be a little bit more like tapered to my wrist it still has kind of some type of looseness to it and it's comfortable but fits a little bit better it's a little bit more of a snug fit so when shopping for these bracelets um gold fluctuates in value based on the economy and all that so you can't really go based off of a price that i give you that i paid for mine um it's kind of you just kind of go with what the market's at right now you shop around you find the best deal that you can um obviously from a trusted jeweler a bunch of companies now that this bracelet has been kind of trending like have been doing it I know Chrome Hearts not that Chrome Hearts is trendy but Chrome Hearts since probably the early 90s has had this link they do it in sterling silver and they also do it in 22 karat yellow gold um, their price is kind of in my opinion a little bit high for what you could just get like a classic one like this for um, but yeah it's all based on weight you can get it in uh, mine is 14 karat solid yellow gold you can get it in any color metal 10 karat 14 karat 18 karat 22 karat whatever you want but i think it's best to just kind of stick between 14 and 18 holds your value as much 
uh, to me it holds at least 75 percent of your money that you put into it um so you won't really lose that much so let, let me throw this on the scale i'll show you guys what mine weighs exactly so i'm gonna throw it on the scale for you guys so you guys see what it weighs let's put that make sure this is on first let me get clear all right Alright, so it comes in at about 148, and before it was reading 149 ounces. When you convert that into penny weights, it's close to 100 penny weights in gold on your wrist. Um, when I first got it, it was, I'm not going to lie, it was a little uncomfortable to, to have on, just because I wasn't used to having such a heavy, a heavy bracelet on, um, but you do get used to it um and in my opinion it's not i don't get as annoyed when i ding it on stuff just because i know that it's not going to dent up or you know get as easily banged up as some of my other bracelets can or you know will get over time and I don't know, I just feel like this bracelet is always going to be a classic bracelet it's been around since god knows when and you could use it casually every day, like I use it most of the time with jeans and a t-shirt. Kind of rock out with it like that. Um, you could use it with a suit, you know, go a little bit dressier, but it's a classic bracelet. It's not ever going to go out of style and it's always going to hold its value. Um, so yeah, can't go wrong with a Miami Cuba link. Clean, classic, and classy guys so that pretty much wraps up this video um best advice is that you know always shop with a trusted jeweler that you trust and that you know it's highly recommended um watch the economy watch the market if gold is low you know it's time to buy if it's a little bit high maybe go shop around go check out the millimeter size maybe a spot that you like before you purchase one but it's always going to be a classic bracelet. It's always going to be there. Just kind of watch the market, watch the economy, and find it for the best price. And also, if you buy it in cash, it's a little bit, you always save a little bit of money. They'll work out a price for you. So, drop a comment, like, comment, subscribe as always, and I'll see you in the next video. Later, guys.